into Tyrrhenian spawn. Okay, my was not working, but now it is working. <laughs> yeah, um, basically TLDR, um, if my Katrina, can you uh, ward enemy raptor? Okay, the reason why I'm asking him is because I'm stronger than the enemy jungler. My bot lane should have the priority. And especially with the new map, it's pretty easy to invade his bot side. So if you can do that, you should do that. And um, yeah, and of course, if there's groups, you should try to take them as well. As long as your bot lane doesn't get dove, right? Because it's pretty nice to take them, especially if you're winning. Oh, I don't think I needed my bull lane leash here, but it's okay. If they leash me, that means that um, I'll just basically do three camps and gain bull lane. That is the plan here, okay? Where's my where's my Lofi? Okay. So let's see where he starts first, of course. Because maybe starting bot side, then of course I can't invade this... Uh, bot side but I can invade the stop side then. So it's like if and else conditions. And I can invade the stop side as well because my top lane has to push. And if their bot lane plays too aggressive and let's say I see Kha'Zix on the Raptors, I can still go bot lane. But it seems like he's path in top side, right? So he's not showing Raptors. So that means that he's probably full clearing, okay? Which also means that I can punish him. I can either punish him here I think he should be showing here very, very soon, Imo. Like, if not, he, he did the safe pathing. Okay, there he is. So, as you can see, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk here. I'm gonna tell the top player to push. And I think I'm gonna hold onto my W here. This guy probably has dash. But as you can see, by having a ward and knowing he's pathing and thinking and pushing or pinging your laners that you want to invade, I take a shot buff here. And it's golems. And of course, since I take his camps right, he has only one choice, also known as going bot side. So it is your job as a jungler to think what he can do. And there, for example, my country and died, I actually could have pinged him careful because I knew that um, he can only make a play on the bot side. And I was fully aware of that. Um, actually, important thing here, right? I actually, okay, I, mean, I, I can maybe get top in here. If he tips back, I see a world where you can kill him. Especially since he has no flash, I think. This guy's just really doing the thing. There's no chance to live. Okay, uh, right now though, um, here's the key thing though. I'm gonna base here instead of taking my topside camps. Now you might wonder why, because if I take my topside camps here, he can actually invade my bossy camps. And that is just uh, not that nice. So instead of um, doing that, I'm gonna base, sprint to my bot side here, and try to invade his topside here. And then I can take my topside after. Oh, I didn't even see, like, I didn't even move my camera, but I'm around here at least. Oh, I, th I think he has no vision on me here. I think at least. Right, like, as you can see the movement, um, I do think they... Okay, mm, I'm gonna hover bullet in a bit. This is... Uh, I think the enemy team is doomed. I don't know what summoners they have, but seems like he has no summoners. Okay, perfect. Here's the thing, I'm insta-basing. Why? Grips is up, I think if Kha'Zix goes topside, if I base right now and go there instantly, he will not be able to take it, and I'll be able to, so I'm gonna sprint there right now. And one tip, um, the groups get thank you every minute. So if you can start like, let's say 5.55, it's gonna be like really fucking squishy. Which it is right now. Oh, um. Uh, 
Uh, of course, one thing though, before I do grips, I'll just take my, some of my camps, like at least my blue buff. Uh, my Zerat's moving because he wants to help me do grips. So as you can see, I started right before um, 6 minutes. Main reason why um, it becomes a lot squishier. One thing as well, don't um, finish one instantly, just hit everything because this way you can like actually hit faster. Because well, obvious reasons. Because you can Q, you know. And you can Loki a weird. Um, okay, here's the thing, okay. I know his bot side. I do know his top side's up here. Uh, my Raptors might be gone. Uh, but I want to take at least his Raptors and <coughs> defend my boss after. And I do as well know that his blue will spawn in 20 seconds. If you... Oh, I see Lee is moving to me, so... I'm not going to stay here. I definitely want to take blue buff if... Oh, okay. I was going to put ward right here. Okay, that's fine. I just put a ward there and that allows basically my bull lane. To see Kha'Zix, if you see him then, you know, like, they're being chilling. He's not here and I really don't think he's going to be invading me. Joke, he's invading me. Okay, I will yoink his blue buff really fast. But yeah, I just made like a low quarter killer. Okay, here's the thing though. After I yoink his blue buff, I'm out of here. Because if, let's say I can even take a chrome, but I get chased down and my base gets cancelled, that would be really bad. But in this situation, if it takes blue base instant, I don't get cancelled, and I get my item, it's game over. So, really important thing, right? I mean, he doesn't see me. Fucking dog. He doesn't see me. But yeah, um, oh, I'm disconnecting. Um, really important thing, um, don't get cancelled again. Um, this, cause there might be a ward here, right? I don't want to get jumped on, but okay, key thing. I took enemy blue buff and I overstayed the map, which means that I have fucked up my tempo. So usually if you have screwed up your tempo, you have to think what enemy team can do. And by looking at wave states, like, I mean, everyone's in base, right? So you can't do anything. But now the game is unlosable if we can find enemy jungler. Because every lane is winning, right? So the main goal is identify a lane that you can get priority through and just get full deep parts and like you win the game. <laughs> like literally. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm just gonna full clear here and I will look to walk with my support because he has um, a warning item. So on that wave that's right there, I will look. I mean, maybe I will not look. I'll maybe look mid lane because he's fighting. But yeah, I will look to move with my bot lane to the enemy jungle. Okay, so right now, I mean, if the bullet is going to overextend, I will kill them. So I'm going to walk behind here. And I'm going to hook the wall a bit here. I think they're really doomed here. Mm, yeah. I was gonna get like a ward here, um, a little regular ward here, a pink ward here, and a basing. And now I'm just gonna repeat the process. I'm gonna go to our stop side right now. And the really OP thing about what I just did is that I put the parts in bot side, which allows my bot lane to see enemy Kha'Zix, which means they can play aggressive. And let's say my bot lane can play aggressive, they can move into Herald, and yeah, I mean, I just take Herald for free, right? If He's top side because I, I should win against him. So that is six drops in the bank. And enemy they use this flash as well. The key thing though, before you go in river, um, think about priority. Right now the enemy has priority. Which also means that if I wait for my laners a bit. I only take one grip. We don't have to fight this, but I'm down to fight this. 
Okay, Drake's in 30 seconds, so I plan to just take this and move into the Drake. That is a master pen here. One key thing that I said, don't finish one instantly. Just do both together. Because you have AoE, right? Maybe I reach him. I definitely did reach him. Okay, um, enemy cast death for 10 seconds. I'm gonna clear my top set base and make sure he cannot take the Drake. So as you can see, when he's up, once again, he has a tempo, which means he can make a play. So, oh, this guy is not that strong, by the way. But I'm not gonna fight him. I have a big shutdown. After my game, uh, after my uh, base, Game is over. But key thing here, right? Which is that I know that he can only go bot side, which also means that if I just make sure he can't come on bot lane, his game is over. And the question is, do I even need the base? I honestly don't even think so. Um, okay, I'm gonna move mid lane here. We can for sure fight here. I think I trolled here maybe a bit. Just saying, I dare I could trade one for one, um, but that's not worth it, okay? Don't trade one for one as a jungler. It's better to run for zero. Two for one's not even good, like, best is one for zero. Because that's where you keep tempo and you keep pressure. But if you trade, then. Your camp's not re resetting, it's like a, a lot of bad things. Let's, let's put it that way. But yeah, and as well, I could take the Drake there, but I would prefer to base, take my camps, push a lane, and then take the Drake, and then keep pressure on the map. So don't get baited by Drake if you have to give up the map for it. Because the enemy team can't win if you just, you know, can't match him. Or slightly, if you're slightly behind tempo, your lanes are fine, that's okay too. Like sometimes you can greet. That's like, okay, but you need to be conscious about it at least. I mean, right now, for example, right, um, I'm pretty sure I can murder the, the Azir, like, really easily. And I'm gonna do that on this wave. So, as you can see, I know that I can take Drake here and move into the bot side after. Oh, there's a fucking Seraph in here, what the fuck? Okay, I mean, just take the tower, I guess. I mean, Herald spawning in 15 seconds as well, right? So I'm definitely playing for that. Mm, I just have to wait here a bit. For my team, there's like a crazy bush there, so okay. I mean, I have to wait for my team here a bit, as you can see. Um, I do have a ward on the Herald, so I can actually wait here a bit. But since my Katrina is catching ball lane, Azir can move right, which means that we should look to stall and not look to hit objective. That is just like a map thing, right. This doesn't have to do anything about season 14, but it just, it's just how you believe legends. But right now, I can look to start, and let's say the moment he shows, I will back off. If he shows here at least. But if he shows ball lane, I can continue on it, of course. And they're getting completely fucked. Okay, so after I take the Herald, of course, um, I mean, in general, right, the best thing you can do is actually take your camps and then pop Herald. The main reason why is because that way you can play instantly in your jungle, but if you pop Herald and then have to go back to your camps, you can't actually play the game that fast, if that makes sense. So right now, right, instead of actually um, popping Herald, which, oh, there's TP here. Uh, 
This is one HP. I mean, I mean, like I said, I could pop the Herald here, right? But I am just gonna take my camps. I'm gonna base and then pop the Herald. Because that's way I can keep pressure as well. But as you can see, as long as you understand um, the map state and what enemy drone can do and get some vision, you can snowball the game pretty hard, right? But yeah, here as well, for example, I know that I'm Omega greeting. So, what does it mean? That means that all my laners should be careful <laughs> because I'm greeting here. I mean, I'm just gonna base here. I don't need my golems. But right now, I'm just gonna right click both sides because I have the Herald and my Fiora and I is fucking OP. And I'm just gonna pop it and go for two towers here. I mean, honestly, he can take both towers himself. So I should actually technically leave him alone and play on Katrina lane and play through mid lane. Um, but I think that in this case specifically, my team should be okay, I think. I'm just gonna send it here. But I just say, in general, technically, I should go mid lane here into both sides, but I'm just gonna run it down. So I know already I'm into here, just, just so you guys know. Oh fuck. Dead drift, bros, dead drift. How good was the drift, guys? Okay, wait, I'm really split for my team, so... I do believe they're dead there. I mean, that was a pro drift though, honestly, I ain't gonna lie, but... Fuck, okay, that was not so good, I give shit down. <laughs> I mean, why I burned the Kha'Zix? I actually knocked them up and did 253 damage. <laughs> Okay, wait, wait, let me see what I'm building next though. Mm, I think Starax is actually not that bad this game. <laughs> or even Immortal Shield Bow actually, no, no, I actually prefer Immortal Shield Bow I think. Because I have Kraken, right, which deals crit, so I'm just gonna go this item. And I'll just look to play for the, the Drake here. I'm just gonna sprint there. And of course, if I'm not there yet, my team has to play safe, but in this situation specifically, my team is more than fine, so I don't have to ping them back. I mean, I'll just ping them back once, because I'm actually taking red buff here. I'll not give my whole team red buff. Actually, it's a 20 minute, so it's only two people. Joke. Yeah, I'm taking Drake here. And after I take Drake here, of course, you should always identify what's next on the map, which is topside. So, um, I mean, we could play bot side here, but I'd rather play into the top side here. If you push bot lane here and mid lane base and go into their top side, they can't really play the game. Okay, so right now we should look to play into the top side. When the team comes back on the map, we, we can take full control. I mean, I could defend mid lane here, I guess. Oh, there's so many bushes, but I dispatch. Wait, there's no way, right? Okay, I'm kind of in team, but... Okay. Okay, let's see. I, I think we do Baron quite fast. I definitely do think my Katrina should be tanking, because I do more damage. Wherever this least damage should be tanking. I mean, we can just hit the Baron and leave it at like a certain HP. 
The thing I like to do is like leave the 3k, but as you can see, since enemy drone is getting zoned, we can look to finish it here. And now we can play for um, bot tower, I guess. Because top lane is already pushed in, so we might as well play for bot tower. I do need to... Actually, I don't have to base, but... I will actually stay on the map. And the thing is that basing is useless if your wall team is on the map. You should look to pressure as well if you can, which of course I can. So I will look to pressure. I'm just gonna ping that, you know, the Zerat's moving towards top side. I'm just gonna push mid lane here, obviously. <laughs> if they're like all top side. And especially mini wave, I for sure win, so. I was gonna take this and I'm gonna get out. Ash might have error, of course. <laughs> he got fucked. So yeah, I'm just gonna take this obviously and don't greet here. Like if you think you're gonna get chased down, just just look to base here. Any helpers? Wait, that Seraphine shield is completely disgusting! What the fuck was that? That shield was way too fat. Yeah, okay, that shield is not legal, by the way. Like, yeah, that shield was pretty XD. Yeah, the champ is, I think, balanced. <laughs> nice shield. But yeah, anyway, um, since right now we will can Okay, here's the thing. Our Fiora can split top lane solo and we can just go four inner base and they're forced to defend here in mid lane, right? Which means that we can easily play for top tower or like just go from mid to top. Even in pro play you don't see that often, but this is for sure the best. Okay, so now, I mean, my team is going bot, so I'm going bot as well. In solo queue it's important that you adapt to your team. I mean, even if this is barren, right? I still try to like last it properly. It's like actually important. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You saw this here? Like that guy's legal. Okay, like we didn't see everyone yet, right? But okay, you see my pathing as well. I'm like walking on the right here. Okay, I'm taking a bit of tower shots, but. GG. And that's well, basically how you snowball. And how we should like approach the objectives as well, especially, which is very important, of course. And then yeah, you just win the game, right? So hope you guys learned something, and I'll see you guys around.